Hi, my name is Myron. I want to walk you through the journey to the DM for Mill by Delaware. So it basically started with uh, gathering like 150 requirements specific to the mill industry based on our 20 years of experience in the mill industry. We identified a gap, uh, gap. so the delta we have shared with uh, SAP and SAP has acknowledged that we have a gap. And um, we did some code development together with SAP on the first steps and we are still doing some code development with SAP to the best run of the SAP DM for mill. So basically our DM for mill by Delaware is a plugin running on the BTP. It's covering specific mill requirements like the handling units, the traceability and combined mill orders. In our demo we are having an extruded reel uh, which is slitted to serve multiple customers. So basically we are grouping together multiple uh, customers with similar requirements. We're doing the slitting process and then assigning uh, those uh, reels to the customers again. It looks like here we have the extruded reel on the left side. We're doing the uh, slitting process and the outcome is multiple reels with different lengths and different widths. And these reels then can, as can be assigned to different uh, customer orders. So this is uh, how our demo will look like. So I will I have a combined mill order consisting of two customer orders. I will dispatch and release the order in the dispatch and uh, monitoring app. So at the same time, when I'm releasing it, our bottle factory will um, catch raw material and put it into the production supply area of the work center. Then our production operator, he will uh, start the production by using our um, customized production operating dashboard um, where our plugin is running on. And our plug-in is uh, developed to submit the goods received according to the number of lanes you are slitting. So basically, this is the uh, setup we, we do have here. We have the digital manufacturing as a core. It is connected to the ERP system, the S4, where our orders are created and already linked together and enriched with uh, some characteristics uh, specific to the mill industry. But you see at the bottom is our plant actually. So we have used the laptop, um, put the SAP Cloud Connector and production connector on it to communicate with the model factory. The communication is happening via OPC UA. Now let me show how it, everything works. I will jump to Digital Manufacturing Cloud where I've prepared an order. So you're seeing here the dispatching and monitoring app and you see here the combined mill order consisting of two customer orders. So everything is prepared and I'm releasing the order by clicking here. The same time I'm releasing the order, the um, model factory is picking a block and putting it into the production supply area. The next step is to, uh, for, um, to show the production on the production operating dashboard. So this is the tile for our production operating dashboard where I'm selecting the respective order. And there we go. So once the, the raw material is placed into the production supply area, I'm able to start the production. When starting the production, you see the status changing to active. Finally, I can confirm the quantity. Like 500 meters. And I can jump into my uh, goods receipts mill plugin. Here you can see all the customer orders um, behind our combined mill order. Um, I can deliver the quantity of 100, for example, and according to the number of lanes, it's multiplying uh, the del delivered quantity. So here we have 100 meters of quantity, and it's multiplying by three as that's the number of lanes and the delivered quantity is finally then 300 per order. Coming back to our presentation, uh, this development is uh, separated in four development cycles. We do have four typologies. Uh, we have covered the uh, customized port, the basic time and quantity posting and scrap handling, as well as resource orchestration and our typology one. In the typology two, we have uh, developed the uh, the M4 mill plug-in and also considering the time and quantity posting so we can do the labor on and labor off that means the labor time tracking 
We have integrated the EWM, we have put some inspection points in that and we are interacting with the machines. We do have upcoming features in, in future, so they are covered in Typology 3 and 4. In Typology 3 we are covering the multi-step production. As um, compared to Typology 2 we have covered the side-by-side -side production. We are still focusing on the edge computing in uh, the next upcoming uh, months. Furthermore, we are trying uh, we will highly automate the production in the typology 4.